Now in Bahrain, anti-regime protesters have held rallies in different cities on a day dubbed Friday of Quran. The demonstrations have been organized to condemn the regime's ongoing attacks on religious sites. 25 mosques and 18 mourning halls have been destroyed or burnt by Bahraini and Saudi forces since mid-February. On Friday, Saudi-backed regime forces opened fire on protesters in Dirar city. Also, tanks were on the scene as soon as protesters began to gather in huge numbers. In Karzakhan, police arrested a young protester after he was shot and injured. Pro-regime armed thugs were also sent to Sitra and Malikia as part of the brutal crackdown on the protesters. Well, this is more details of the deadly Saudi-led crackdown on Bahrain's anti-regime protesters have surfaced. An international medical group says the Manama authorities are conducting a systematic campaign of attacks and arrests against medical staff who treat the injured protesters in hospitals. Physicians for Human Rights have revealed in a report that dozens of doctors and nurses have been arrested because they had, quote, evidence of atrocities committed by Saudi-backed Bahraini forces. According to the report, the injured protesters were also tortured and humiliated in hospitals. Earlier this month, the international humanitarian organization Doctors Without Borders described Bahrain's hospitals as places to be feared.